Hello everyone, welcome back to this sewing channel. If you are new here, I would like to ask you to consider to subscribe the channel and check some videos because I'm sure you are going to enjoy to watch them. Today's video we are going to make this very handy travel tie case. This case prevents all creases and wrinkles when it goes on a sweet case. If you are a beginner, you can make this project. I will tell you how to make it without the bias tape. But for you who wants to give the next step, I will show you the step by step how to make this with the bias tape as well. This travel tie case has two metal snaps to close. And inside I kept two ties, but actually you can put more than two. If you like this idea, don't forget to give you a thumbs up. That will help a lot the channel. No more talking and let's go to sew this travel tie case. For our travel tie case, we are going to need a linen fabric measuring 42 centimeters per 31 and a half. We are going to need a piece of fabric for our main fabric measuring 41 centimeters per 30 centimeters and half and for the structure we are going to need some interfacing in my case I'm using some foam mine has three millimeters we are also need some stripes so two stripes measuring 12 centimeters per two centimeters two and another two measuring 26 centimeters per two centimeters two as well three rivets and four pairs of metal snaps also double tape to help and for not beginners we are going to need some bias tape if you are a beginner and you don't want to use the bias tape you don't need it. I will tell how to make with bias step and without bias tape. So it's all. Let's go start it. First step, it's going to be fix our main fabric into our foam or interfacing. We are going to make um, a suture just on the edge of the main fabric. I'm going to use the 3.5 stitches. I have trimmed off all the excess around the seams. For the next step, we are going to round our corners. I'm going to use the 6 cm curve, so we just match the edges together. I have a video on the channel how to make this curved ruler. If you want to watch the video later, I will leave the link on the description below. It's very easy, handy, and you can save money with that. So let's curve our corners. Now we are going to make a suture all over the line. Now we have all our curved corners and now we are going to work on our stripes. So our stripes, I just cut the corner here. And what we are going to do is we are going to top stitch all around and we are going to leave a 3 cm gap on here. And on the bigger one we are going to top stitch all around leaving a gap of 1 cm on both sides. All done. Now we are going to fix the smaller ones on our main body. So now on our back we are going to find the middle. And 
now from this middle we are going to measure 10 centimeters each side and now we are going to measure 4 centimeters to the interior Now we are going to apply a little bit of double tape here just to help to fix this before we sew it. On this line we are going to put on the top of our dot and now we are going to sew it all around making a square. like this and now we are going to do the same thing on this side all done this is going to close like this and now we don't want this flap like this we want it like this with a little space here so you can put more than four ties at a time and now let's apply our metal nap. Well done, now we are going to work on our linen fabric. First of all, we are going to find the middle here and the middle on the bottom and we are going to make a line here. This pen here rises with the hot, so when I will iron it, it's going to disappear. Second, on the top, we are going to measure three centimeters and a half. And on the bottom here, we are going to measure nine centimeters and a half. And now we are with our stripe to help just a tiny bit like this, just to help to fix it. So let's find the middle here. So now let's put the middle of the strike on the middle here we found before. You can confirm with a ruler. Okay. And now to fix this, we are going to make a rectangular here and here and here. Like this here and here and now let's apply the two rivets here and here so the top is done now we are going to make the, the bottom side so we are going to apply our stripe so on this middle here we are going to make a hold and on the middle of our stripe as well and now let's apply the other rivet and now on the tops we are going to apply the metal snap as well so we have all our metal snaps applied and all our rivets applied and now we have our linen fabric ready and our main fabric ready so let's go for the next step so 
Now we are going to find the middles of the linen fabric here and the main fabric here. So you just fold the linen fabric and get your middles and your main fabric. So for beginners, we are going to put our main body facing up, our leaning fabric facing down. We are going to match the middles together. Put some clip here and here as well. And then you are going to put the flaps inside and we are going to sew it all over and leaving an open gap here so we can turn our piece around. After that you are going to top stitch all around put the edges of the fabric inside and when you are top stitching this part here you close your tie case and it's done for beginners for the ones who want to give the next step and apply the bias so you are going to put the main fabric face down and the leaning fabric facing up you are going to find the middles as well and we roll and we are going to sew all over it so all sewn and trimmed off. Now I'm going to show you how to apply the tie before I apply the bias. So you have the tie folded in half so you are going to put it here and fold the tie here and put the other one here but I want to show you, you can also put four ties in here. Or you can put two on each side if you want. So now let's apply our bias step. I like to start from the back. So the bias tape is like this, so we are going to open it, we are going to match this edge with the edge of the, our piece and then we are going to suture on top of the wrinkle. If you prefer, you can clip it all around, so make sure it doesn't move and it's easier. For beginners, I will advise you to use a thread with the same color of the bias because if your stitch will be not straight with the same color will be very noticed, okay? But I want to go for the next step, I want to practice as well, so I will do it with a white thread. So wish me luck and let's do it! Now on this part we are finishing, on this one we are going to fold it into the corner here like this, going to put a clip and then with this one we are going to cover it and we will suture until the end. It will be like this, so we fold it and then this one we just make a suture to the end. Now I'm going to go all over 
make sure these sutures are good and then I will come and clip all the way around and then I will make a suture on top of this one all over the round and I will come and show you the results our travel Thai case is all done I hope you enjoyed this video I will leave here some videos so you can have a look and I'm sure you're gonna love it. And you, I will see you on the next video.